You are not going to believe this. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Why are my sales down? We're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about some YouTube drama and some eBay drama, so stay tuned. I'm also taking you to the thrift store with me, and we are also going to pack up some orders. I'm going to tell you what sold. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, it is time for a reseller vlog. We are going to pull some orders. Um, not many uh, going out. But uh, it happens sometimes. You know, one thing about eBay and being a reseller, Poshmark, Mercari, YouTube, everything is a roller coaster, up and down. You just keep putting the work in, and you keep pushing hard, and it'll come back up. It always does. So kind of a slow weekend. I'm gonna show you some things that I'm shipping out, and I'm also gonna talk to you about some drama uh, that happened with me this weekend. Hey, Bella Buddies. So the first thing that happened was, and it's kind of story time here. So I was cross posting with List Perfectly last night. If you have not tried List Perfectly, I highly recommend it. It is a cross posting service where you can get your items to other platforms super fast and super easy. I have a video. You guys can go check it out. It looks like this. It's linked down in the description. If you watch it and decide you want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. And for some reason I like went like this and I realized that my earring was missing. And here's the story. I lost my earring and I've had the same earrings for before my husband and I got married. And here's the funny story. I bought them to resell and I ended up keeping them. So there was a Sears going out of business and Sears has a jewelry department. Now, is it super high-end jewelry? I mean, they actually sold diamonds. So I ordered online and I got all of these diamond stud earrings. I think I bought four pair. And the total, I want to say, I'm going from memory here and you guys know I have the worst memory. But um, I think it was just shy of $400. Now, you have to remember, this was 10 years ago. And I think everything was 90% off at this time. Don't quote me on that. Maybe it was 80%, but I think it was 90%. So I get the earrings and there's four pair and three of them are circles and one is a square. And I'm like, I don't think I ordered a square and I really liked the square. Well, here it is. This is my earring and I lost the other one. So um, I was wondering why it was a square and I'm pretty sure I ended up calling them and I don't remember what the reasoning was. Maybe they just shipped me the wrong thing or maybe they ran out of the circles because it was like a clearance sale, but I got the square. Well, the square was a more expensive earring that I ended up getting for the price of the circles. And I took this into my jeweler and they're like, wow, those are like a really nice quality. You know, the cut, the clarity, all of that stuff that you look for in a diamond was really good. So I'm kind of like really upset about it. I've had these 10 years. So now I have one. So if you come to my whatnot show tonight and you order from me and one of these shows up in your lot, because that is what I did yesterday. I sorted all of my whatnot jewelry and I'm going to show you that. It took me like, I don't know, five or six hours. My plan was just to pull things from the buckets or the totes and just show them and make lots as I go. But I felt like if it was more organized, I could sell things in small lots like beads together and, you know, just make it just better. So I went ahead and did that. But in the meantime, I somehow lost my earring. So if you find my earring, please return to sender. Um, but anyway, I, I it's probably not in all of this stuff, but um, who knows where it is. I have like searched my floor. I've searched my bathroom. If it fell off in the shower, then it probably went down the drain, um, which is just, it makes me sad. But anyway, now I have to figure out a pair of earrings. I have in an old pair that I had, like I think in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm one of those people where I don't buy new things unless I need them. So I was really happy with my less than $400 really nice diamond rings that I got on clearance at Sears. I was super excited. And especially when the jeweler at my regular jeweler where my husband got my 
wedding ring was like, wow, these are really great. So anyway, I'm going to keep looking for it. I called all the places that I went that day. Nobody found it. Nobody turned it in. So I'm hoping it's like just going to show up. So I don't know. Anyway, so return to sender if you find it. Um, I doubt it's in the crafter stuff. I'm just kind of being funny with that. All right, Bola Buddies, I have so much stuff, so many goodies that are coming to my Whatnot Crafters show. I'll be having one tonight, but I'm definitely not going to be able to get through everything. These are all beads. I'm going to be lotting these up. Um, there are some cool specialty items like this that she made. This is like a necklace that opens up. How crazy is that? Um, and she made this thing. I showed this in another video. I might do that one tonight. Um, just some really interesting uh, vintage cool items. Not sure that maybe somebody made that. Maybe she made it. I don't know. I have these. I have not looked any of this stuff up. I am just bringing it to whatnot. These are all like little... Um, jewelry things that are flat on the bottom. So you would glue them into things. So we've got jewelry findings. Um, these are all buttons and things like that. Uh, or is this the buttons? I don't know. Everything's, it's organized. And then this is full of vintage buttons. And then over here, I've got just tons and tons of different types of crafters things that I'm going to be selling in lots and, you know, different, um, uh, like fabric things, lace, stuff like that. And this is a, I think this is all crafters items that I'll probably just sell as a bundle. So I hope to see you guys tonight at my What Not Show. There is a link down in the description. If you click on that, you can get $15 to shop if you join with that referral link. Or you can click on it and just come on over and bookmark the show. All right, so here is some Bolo Buddies funnies. Um, we're going to call this drama Talk about sniffers. This this smells fishy to me. Piles of garbage and you find four unopened envelopes? Yeah, sure. So this was posted in my YouTube comments for my most recent Goodwill Bins video where I said I would make thousands. Go check it out. Um, I will tell you one thing. How on earth would I even make something up like this? This, this comment just cracked me up. So I wanted to share that with you guys. A little bit of YouTube drama. All right, so what else happened? Okay, so after church today, we decided to go to lunch and we're sitting at the restaurant and I was like, do you want to go over to the thrift store? Because it's like right down the street. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. So at that point in time, I'm like thinking I'll just pay the bill because he was still eating. And I was like, I don't have my, I didn't, I didn't bring my purse because typically, you know, I don't, I don't need it. I'm not driving. He was driving. So he's like, you don't have your purse. And I'm like, no. And he's like, I don't have my wallet. So we're sitting there eating and neither one of us had any money on us. <laughs> so while he finished eating, I went and got my purse from the house and went back and paid for it. And then we went to the thrift store and I've got footage of that. So stay tuned. Bola Buddy, so this first item I sold, I went to take it off of Mercari and Poshmark and it wasn't there. So I was like, oh my goodness, did I forget, lights on, sorry, did I forget to remove it? And I was starting to panic a little bit. And then I remembered that I had a return um, a long time ago for this item, which I don't even, it came back to me in the bubble wrap, like I had shipped it. So I don't even know if they even opened it but it's a Fisher Price Loving Family bathroom set with a scale. And I was like, I am pretty sure that that was returned to me because I remembered I had put a scale with it. So thankfully, when I came and checked, it was here. Otherwise, that would have been all bad. Um, I also sold with it this little um, desk and this little chair that goes with it. So this is the Fisher Price Loving Family. I'm gonna pop up screen shares right here of what they look like. And the total they paid was, before I go get it, I'm gonna tell you what it's called and show you a picture because this is one that I had a hard time using Google Lens to figure out. If you don't know about Google Lens, I have a video that shows you how it works. It is free, absolutely free, definitely get it. But this is from the Vintage Portable Dollhouse Dream House Blue Box Figures. Oh my goodness, my totes are so out of order. Okay, 38's over here. This is not where tote 38 should be. I couldn't find it. So, um, look at this fun little um, yoga cats. 
So all of these items you're seeing right now are available in my store. I um, have tons and tons of items, but here we go with the little dollhouse people. How cute are those? But not any that I've ever sold before. These sold for $30 plus shipping. This one is in tote six. Oh, and I got these at a garage sale for a buck. This next one, I don't remember where I got it, but um, it was probably like in a toy box or something like that because I did not mark it. And I think I've had it quite a while. Uh, is it in here or there? There it is. I think it's this car right here. Um, I'm trying to remember where these came from and I just can't. They've been listed a long time. So I think I parted these out. Hold on, I can't get it open. Some of them I put in a lot and then this one I parted out, but you guys look, there's a little dog in the back and you can see it's, you know, not in great, great condition, but this is a matchbox. It's a made in England Lindsay car. How cool is that? So fun little uh, item. And I sold this for $15.49 plus shipping for the cute little car. So definitely look these up. Some of them can go much higher, but um, this one is not a red lines. Red lines means that they have red lines along the wheels and this one does not. But if you find those, those can be a big money bolo. So definitely be on the lookout for the little red circle on the wheels. All right, so a little bit of um, eBay drama. <laughs> this video is just full of drama. Speaking of drama, look at all of this. Uh, this is all of my inventory. This is what and why I'm doing more whatnot and thinking about, let me flip the camera, bringing a lot of these toys and stuff over to whatnot. Um, those behind those totes are more totes and we are almost up to the ceiling. So this is my money mountain. If you haven't seen it, I have included it in a video before. These are extra totes. Um, all of the stuff that was in the garage has either been sold on whatnot or has been added to my money pile. So most of the stuff in my garage is pretty much empty right now. So the garage is looking good. So that was a big task. I'm really proud of myself for getting that done, but whatnot, follow me on whatnot, links down below. Okay, so the eBay drama, like, I don't even know if I should pull this item. So somebody ordered a, actually, they, they bought it, but they, and they paid for it, but they were negotiating a price with me, okay? And they sent me a low offer, I'm going to call it a low offer, and I counter offered at $30. And instead of accepting my $30 offer, the item sold. So I'm like, oh, sweet, somebody else bought it for full price. And I'm like, Okay, awesome. I didn't even look to see who bought it. Well, it turns out they bought it. So now the person is emailing me and saying that they only want it for it on sale. They don't want it for the asking price. And I'm like, well, why did you buy it for the asking price? And do they want my $30 offer or are they trying to offer me less? So I don't know if I'm supposed to cancel the order. I message them. I'm like, would you like me to cancel the order? Because I'm not going to do it for less than 30. It's a really cool item. I'm going to show it to you. And then I'm going to leave it in the tote because honestly, I think I'm probably going to have to end up canceling the order, which is a complete bummer, but it is what it is. I would rather cancel it than have them get it and return it to me. So let's take a look at the item. So the item is, is it this one? Um, creepy crawly. It might be this one. It's a candle holder by Scentsy. And I'm just going to, I already bubble wrapped it and it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna leave that in there, but it is a Scentsy Creepy Crawly, uh, I think this is the one, and it's a spider web. And it's a really cool looking candle, and it's definitely worth 30 bucks plus shipping. So, as stated, really no point in getting that out because I don't think they want the item. I don't think they wanna pay the $30 plus shipping. So, want, want. Like I said, it's been one of those weekends. I lost my earring, I, did find a cool thing at the thrift store. Do you want to go check it out? <laughs> it's cool. All right, we're going over here to Plush Tote G G. Where is it? Right here. And this was a part of the plush that I got free from a viewer that I've talked about in my past reseller vlogs. You can check those out and see some of the other items that I have. I got. Um, I'm looking for a little sheep plush. Where is it? Oh no, did I label it wrong? 
I do this in every video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Is it in here? Oh no. Let's look in this one. Oh my goodness. Oh. Are you over here, little lamb? All right, if I don't find it here in a second, I will shut the camera off and go search for it and be back to show you guys. It's gotta be here somewhere. I'll be back. Found it over here in tote seven. It's the little lamb glad bear. I mean, if only I could just get things in the tote that they're supposed to go in, that would save me so much time. But anyway, it happens. So, so cute. And this sold for $15.50 plus shipping. So here's the little lamb. Typically I will ship these in a poly mailer, but this one has a sound box. So I'm gonna put this one in a box. It's an adorable little prayer lamb. It's a little bedtime prayer bear. Not bear, lamb. And it says glad on the foot. It's so cute. Fifteen fifty plus shipping on this. All right, Bolo Buddies. So when I ship, a lot of times I watch Donatella Bottolino in auctions for you. But this kind of caught my eye and made me laugh a little bit. And I thought you guys would enjoy it. Are you ready? She's totally busted by her daughters right now. Uh oh. Why is this? Listen, you need to like when I bring the clothes into the cottage, if you don't look through them, I'm selling them. I'm not I can't like be like pulling stuff constantly. These are really nice. They're almost like a um they almost have kind of like a seersucker look about them. Lily Pulitzer. 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 Sorry. What? She said Pulitzer. It's Pulitzer. I thought Pulitzer. it was Pulitzer. Really Pulitzer? It's Pulitzer. No, uh, it's, yeah, it's her. Oh, Pulitzer. It's Pulitzer, right? Taught, taught me. Like, well, let's hey, look. It's Pulitzer. Really Pulitzer? It says, oh, uh, That's so crazy. it says the yeah. Callahan it's short. The and it's Lily Pul. It's sir. It's Pulitzer. There's a T, unless it's silent. Let me see how it's spelled. Let me see the tag. Oh, I can't. I already showed them. I just want to see the tag. I already showed them. They're going in the lot. Okay, Bella Buddies, does that sound familiar like me trying to figure out a word? So how do you say it? How do you guys say it? Let me know down in the comments. And definitely go check out Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You over on YouTube. They sell to resellers. I will link them in the description of the video. But in this video, she's actually talking to her daughters in the background and they're correcting her and one saying one way, one saying another. And um, I think they want the shorts, but they're not getting them. They're not getting them. Okay, Bola Buddy. So the reason I think my sales are down is because I have not been listing every day. I have not been listing consistently. Um, I've been working on parting out a dollhouse, which needed washed and takes a lot of time. So I'm not getting up as many listings as I typically do. Plus I've been selling on whatnot. So my time has been a new thing is now added to everything I need to do to include listing on eBay, cross posting my items, selling on Mercari and Poshmark. Now I'm selling on Whatnot, putting out a YouTube video every day on this channel and trying to get out some videos on my reseller testing Bolo products and my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. So I am rebalancing. So when you do not list as much on eBay, I do feel like your sales will go down some. Listing consistently is very, very important. Do I think you can still make sales without listing every day? 100%. Did I sell some stuff over the weekend? Yes. And I do ship on Saturdays. So um, this is just Saturday after I shipped and part of Sunday. I'm recording this video during the day. So I still have the rest of the day to sell some stuff. So we'll see how it goes. All right, Bolo Buddies, this is a different thrift store. This is a thrift store that is for the Humane Society. So the prices are typically higher here. They do their research and this is just the case that's in the front. Um, I did some videos of some Legos that I purchased here probably a couple weeks ago, and I put those over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel if you guys wanna check out what I found. Those I felt like were priced okay. I wasn't sure what I was gonna get. It was kind of a mystery Lego tote, and I got two of them. 
So there's two separate videos over there if you guys like watching unboxing videos. They are just a bunch of Legos. So some of those items have been listed. I do feel like I will make a profit and um, it was a good buy, but this is the showcase and there's lots of items. Most of these items are not the type of items I pick up. I mean, there's some games here. I didn't look these up. So if I missed anything, let me know. Um, didn't do a lot of looking up. I did end up walking out of the store with one item. Can anybody guess what that one item was? Um, let me know in the comments, but uh, I'm just kind of going to show you the store and some of the different things. I do like that they have this showcase, but it also shows me that they definitely uh, look things up and they do price higher. So um, this is over by the cash register, and this is where you're going to find like the higher end jewelry and pricier things. There was an Aladdin Disney watch that was pretty cool, and they only had $5 on it, but I wasn't sure if it worked. So I went ahead and left that behind, but if it would have been working, that's definitely something I probably would have picked up because it had sound and it seemed pretty cool. So uh, Willow Tree, I will pick up Willow Tree if I can get it for a dollar or less. And these were $7.99 a piece, so definitely not a pickup. I did see this little piece right here. Should I have picked this up, you guys? It looks old, but I don't know if it's just made to look old and it's a breakable. This was kind of a fun little piece. No clue if it was vintage or not. Um, this type of hard goods, you know, I'm more into toys. I don't know too much about these things. This did say Italy on the bottom, and I was wondering if maybe it was Sterling um, 925 on the bottom, but I couldn't find any markings. So I left it behind and headed to my favorite spot, of course, the toys. The toy section is never, there's really not a lot here, but I did see these mega blocks and it had the train track. So I figured these were from the Thomas the Train series and there were three bags and it said the set of three bags was $9.99 and it was red tag, so they were 50% off. So it would only cost me $5, but there were only two out of out of the three bags. So I was like, well, the trains are missing and the trains are what are worth the most money. So I just put those back down and was like, I guess I'm going to leave empty handed today because I'm just not finding much of anything. And that's pretty typical of this store for me. Again, I'll find something here and there, but I went over to the other side of the toys and look what I found. I found the trains. So now I have all three bags and I wasn't sure if the tag on it was orange or red, but it was indeed red. So I got them for $5 plus tax and I walked out of there with a nice little bolo item. Um, I have not done my research yet to figure out which one it is, but it is a Thomas the Train set mega block. So I will do well on that. I haven't decided if I'm gonna part it out or just uh, sell it as a set. I don't know if everything's there, but parting it out might be the way to make the most money on that item. So I headed over here to this section and they had um, some St. Patrick's Day stuff. Look at this cool mug. Um, I did not pick any of this up. I left most of this behind, but I did find these. If these would have been like five bucks, 10 bucks, I would have picked these up, but they were $29.99. And you know, they're going anywhere from 30 to $50 on uh, eBay. They were the Bradford edition uh, ornaments, St. Patrick's ornaments. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, something like that. I can't remember what they were called. And then I saw this and I'm like, ooh, under the cabinet, under the cabinet items are a bolo. Under the cabinet items, definitely a bolo, but that one was priced too high and didn't comp out very well. But if you can find like can openers, radios, all those different things, there's lots of different things that go under the cabinet, they can be a bolo. But the most exciting news, oh my goodness, between now and when I started doing this video, Bow, bow, bow. Did I do that? <laughs> Look what I found! My earring! I found my earring. <gasps> I'm so happy right now. I don't have the back, but I don't care. I will find another back. I'm gonna go downstairs into that whatnot jewelry. And I think I had some that were sterling silver. It won't be um, 14 karat gold or whatever the back is, but I don't care. <gasps> I've got my earring. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, 
Yes, I'm so excited. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, how are your sales? Are things up or down right now? Um, what are you doing this year that's different, that's helping your business grow? Um, my biggest new thing is whatnot, and I gotta tell you, I am loving it. If you guys are looking for another platform to sell on, that it's fast paced, it's different, and um, I really enjoy it, and it's live, so I get to hang out with all of you guys. So um, if you're looking to sell, one of the, um, I think it was on my YouTube comments. I think it was my YouTube channel. Uh, one of the gals that has been coming to my show, she's like, I used your link um, to join, whatnot, and I was approved, like, she did it that night, and the next morning, she was already approved to sell. So that's fantastic, because I know a lot of times people have to go on a wait list, and it takes a while to get approved, but if you use a referral link to, um, like, an invite, res uh, it's what's it called? It's a referral invite it's a seller referral invite link if you use one of those that tells them that i sent you and i think it helps you get accepted quicker so i do have that link down in the description if you're thinking about whatnot definitely just get your foot in the door go sign up even if you don't do a show right away you know sign up now do your onboarding watch the little thing that's live and then you're ready to go you have access and then when you're ready to sell you can do it I signed up so early with good intentions and did not do my first video until, not video, my first live until December. And um, looking back now, I'm like, why did I wait so long? So don't be like me, all right? Sign up for whatnot and get selling. Thanks for watching.